Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Tyler or Explosify here and I'm back with my beautiful wife Emily yet again. We're on to episode 4 of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Um, we really enjoyed the last episode. I think we both gave it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. Um, what did you think of the uh, Darth Vader fight with Obi-Wan? It was really cool. It was uh, pretty unexpected. I wasn't expecting to see a fight so early in the season, but that makes me really excited to see the rest of the season. Yeah, so I think... Uh, I think there's going to be another fight, obviously. I mean, they're going to bring Vader back at some point, yeah. and Obi-Wan's going to be a lot better off or against him or way better than what we saw him mm -hmm. in Episode 3. He's been out of the touch with the Force for, for so long. Yeah, for so long. So, yeah, I'm hoping that it's this episode, but I'm sure that this episode's going to be more about, you know, his recovery after his first fight with Darth yes. Vader um, after 10 years. Fire. Yeah, being drugged through the fire. He's probably going to wake up in a back to tank is my first initial is my first initial uh, guess. That's just my opinion, but yeah. So let's yeah, get right into let's it. Let's do it. <gasps> You're right. Oh yeah, I mean, he's got to heal somehow. And the back to tank is the quickest way to do it. Sewage. She's 10 years old. I won't leave her there. I'll go on my own. You can barely stand. You're not getting in there. I'll go with him. Well, I have officer clearance. I can get you inside and I can get you access. Is your cover still intact? We'll find out soon enough. She's a good person. I mean, I guess she didn't get caught in the last one. In the last episode, so she still has her clearance. Bunch of talk of a secret network. A path. We thought it was a lie, but a safe house, like the one you were in, has been found in two systems. Find out where they are, Leia. And I think you know. Uh, she only knows about the one, doesn't she? Dang, she really is just walking right in, huh? Officer, and you will address me as sir. Yes, sir, of course, but... Perhaps I should just inform the Grand Inquisitor of your insolence. I'm here with classified intelligence. Do you know what classified means? Yes, sir. And why am I wasting my breath on you? Well, she got pretty lucky. Yeah, girl. Get it, girl. Okay. Okay. That's Damn, how come Obi Wan's so good at swimming? Jesus. Wait, why didn't he steal his uniform to blend in? That was dumb. I don't know. I was like, oh, that's a perfect plan. He's gonna steal the uniform. Then he just didn't. Oh. No, they would have seen him. They're stormtroopers, they're not clones. True. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I had some company. I'll have to tell my father first. That's okay, right? He said we're all on the same side. <laughs> nice try, princess. I hope you like pain. I'll never tell you where they are! Thanks. How come so she couldn't, like, are. read her mind like she could the dude earlier? The guy who was faking being a she, Jedi? It looked like she tried. Well, yeah, but it's a ten-year-old. Well, Leia has force powers. She just doesn't really know it yet. That's true. That's true. Oh. oh. Just found out what they're hiding down here. Oh my god. Are these all actually Jedi or because I don't recognize most of them. So oh, oh yeah they are. Oh Tala, I need a distraction. Why what's happened? Just do it now. Oh, yeah. No way out. 
stand where you are. Nice. Uh, have my integrity questioned and admit you're a spy. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Reminds me of Mando and Baby Yoda a little bit. Yep. Oh, frick. Oh, no. <laughs> she just... That was easy to take him down. Nice. He's got he's starting to get the swift motions back, you know. Great hiding spot. Oh no. I mean maybe that'd be beneficial. They could just swim up to the surface. Woo! Nice. Get them a running start and then run for your life, boy! He's gonna wait for them to get breakthrough and then yep. let it go. Alright now. Nice. Wow. That was a good scene. Oh! Nice. That's pretty brutal, though. That's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's not suspicious at all. I want them. Oh, yeah. Nice. It seemed a little bit too nicka timey. Yeah. But it's still really cool. Oh. What? Oh. You were born. Oh. What the feet would bring. Soon the location of the network and Kenobi will be out. Put a tracker on the ship. You mean on Leia or? It seems I have underestimated you. <laughs> the little baby hands. <laughs> A little droid. Ah. Oh, it's the tracker. Oh no. Her droid Dang is the tracker. It. I was like, yay, her droid survived. Awesome. Oh no, dude. She hey, how clever this freaking chick is. Yeah, I know. It's she always fair. knows the right things to do. And I was so ready what to not have to Vader do. let her have it. But I know. She's so annoying. But she, she is right to put a freaking tracker on the ship. I, she wasn't going to find out where all the Jedi were going unless that yeah. happened i would give that episode probably like an eight eight or yeah, a nine yeah it was pretty good kind of predictable and slow though um mm. but i still really i mean i love star wars so I just like suck it up soak it all in it reminds me a lot of the mandalorian unfortunately i wish that they can come up with a new storyline without having the same like mandalorian thing like in the first episode of the mandalorian he went to go bounty hunt yeah, I guess you could say Baby Yoda. Um, he went to go bounty hunt him, and turns out he like fell in love with this child and wanted to help him and everything because it was just a baby. Um, it's kind of the same concept. We're following Obi Wan and Leia. Obi Wan wants to do his own thing as well, and then he falls in love with. Leia. He falls in love with the character of Leia, and then like tries to protect her just like the Mandalorian did. And that episode reminded me more of the Mandalorian than anything else because they had the hallway scene where he's like, you know, deflecting blaster bolts versus, you know, the Mandalorian shooting. Um, they had the, uh, in, in the hangar, everybody was getting shot at and there was a big battle scene just like when he came outside or just like when he was outside of the uh, spot where Mando picked up Baby Yoda. Um, just similar things like that. 
I kind of wish that they added new stuff to it. Like, I don't know, may maybe uh, all the Inquisitors were there and not just the third sister. Mm -hmm. Like, how come it's always just the third sister around when Obi-Wan's around? And then the two Inquisitors were kind of like side characters in the thing. Only towards the convenient parts, and it felt like the problems that they ran into while they were there were very predictable, and then the help at the very end was so predictable. Um, yeah. And I, I mean, it's typical Star Wars, which is like, you know, I've seen that happen in Star Wars movies, but those are, I feel like those are special because those are the originals, and it's important to, like, continue to come up with new concepts, so it's just, I don't know. Yeah, how many times can one strategy work against the Empire? You know what I mean? Like, I liked the episode, but I probably wouldn't, like, rewatch it. Yeah, there's... Like, if I was rewatching the series, I might skip that one, because that's, like just felt so so compared to the last I think especially after the last one too because we finally got to see Vader and we got to see him fight and like it was super cool there were just a bunch of different things and like mm -hmm. surprise things that we didn't know what happened and they happened and then this one was just like you know it almost like a filler episode almost and it kind of yeah. stinks to have those it almost felt like three fourths of it was filler, yeah. and like one fourth it was actually good information and good yeah. stuff. Like the Jedi's that are like tombed or frozen, whatever they are, down yeah. below. That's cool. Like, what if there's potential for you to like unfreeze them? But then it raises the question: Why didn't the Empire just kill just them? Kill, yeah. You know. Um, but they've been so, like killing others, so it's like. Yeah. So it's like why. Like, wh what are they even doing down there? Do they just freeze their bodies as, like, a representation or what? Like, are they going to use it at some point? Um, and also, uh, the Obi-Wan hallway scenes, the only good thing about them, in my opinion, was his lightsaber movements were pretty cool. Um, he's finally getting that sway back that he had in, like, the prequels where he was able to deflect blaster bolts just by flicking his wrist yeah. and kind of doing cool stuff. And then he was finally able to use the force and use it pretty powerfully to uh, reflect that wa or deflect that water onto the yeah, stormtroopers and stuff. Yeah, it was just really weird to see that after he strolled so hard, moving like a little tiny thing. Yeah, I mean, ship. and then to see him like deflect thousands of gallons of water. Yeah. With no problem or leaks. Yeah. Uh, they could have made that a little bit more intense too. They could have. You know, they they could have done a little bit more in that scene for sure, but I think what they were trying to put across definitely came across for me, which is like under those stressful moments, the old Obi Wan kind of, kind of comes back, and then he'll slowly turn into the old Obi Wan over time with those stressful moments. Um, obviously, trying to protect Leia. Um, yeah. And everybody else that's been helping him out. So yeah, I'd be interested to see what you guys think about what you would rate the re episode. I don't really know what I would rate it because I feel bad giving it like a lower rating, but it wasn't my favorite. I don't feel bad at all giving Star Wars lower ratings because we've been watching Star Wars I'm forever. Like, I feel like it's a and... six out of ten or a five out of ten for me. Like it was fine, but I wouldn't watch it again. And I gave the first episodes like a seven and an eight. And the last one was a 10, so I just feel like maybe it's from the last episode just dropping down to this one and a little bit of predictability, but I feel like a 5 or 6 would be for me. Yeah, I'm still giving it like an 8 or 9 um, just because of the um, Fortress Inquisitorious. Um, I love that place just because it's in the game. It's in some comic books. They talk about it in the Clone... Or not the Clone Wars. They talk about it in some other... Um, forms of Star Wars, but I was really hoping for like Clone Wars flashbacks. That's what I was hoping. For. Oh, yeah. I'm still waiting that for it. That would have been cool. I'm still waiting. If they don't have Clone Wars flashbacks in this show, I'm actually going to be pretty disappointed. They have two more episodes to do it. That's it? Yep, there's going to be six episodes complete. They could ex expand it because Obi Wan Kenobi was the biggest opening day on oh. Disney Plus ever. Gosh. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And leave a comment down below and let us know what you thought. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Bye.